guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 41 of Hidogato Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Balls. <laughs> oh Mhm mm Once again, I still cannot believe we are almost done with this. Like, last week, when we were on 40, it, it, you know what, no. It's been hitting since episode 30. Like, you're just like, oh, dang. And then when you get to 40, you're like, oh. We got less than two months left with these girls and one boy. And I, I'm like... I don't know how to feel. Yeah, like, yeah, we're getting leaks next month. Like, yeah, that's the best thing ever. But at the same time, I don't want to think about leaving this group. I, I hate, and it's the, it's the endless cycle that I've been with this series ever since the beginning. You get attached, and then it gets to the end, and you're not ready to say goodbye, but you have to say goodbye, and then we move on. And you still remember the previous group, but you're getting ready to learn about the brand new group. And then you fall in love with the new group just in time for more new leaks to come out. And then the new group. And then you get started all over again. You gotta love the series. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> Girl, I bet. I mean, you probably ate a lot out <laughs> of everybody. <laughs> oh, but she's fine. She's used to it. Sure. No creative juices. It's got to be brand spanking new. <laughs> I know that feeling when I was writing.
Girl. <laughs> How about a story all on that, Majidal? You might get a good book idea if you go. Uh oh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but you can't be mad. Here we go. Mm hmm. Say it again. The only how God that hurt. Oh my foot. The only reason why we want the job. I need money. So getting your butt handled to you every single week until, you know, you got scared. Unfortunately, got stuck here. If he's a loser, you're a loser as well. I'm about to say. <laughs> oh, baby. I want you.
Mm-hmm. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait. Uh oh. Mm -mm. If only you took a picture of it. I mean, well, what else is he supposed to do? Reckless,
I have the umbrella though. <laughs> so Masha is going to be the distraction I mean because it seems like that because she goes up front and everybody else goes their separate ways it's like a volleyball or a soccer ball Okay, so who's the one you love? Me too. I am hungry. I want food.
See, I think the one thing that I really like about Mondo versus like any of the other villains that we've had after him, even though he is <laughs> down in the dumps, deadbeat, still living in the world of the living and not going back to where he was, you know, like with the tail. Um, between his legs, he feels, out of everyone, he feels the most human out of the bad guys and such. And I like that, especially with him having all these moments with Mashiro. Out of all people, once again, because, like, never would have thought that, once again, we would have a villain connecting with, you know, our main protagonist and such. And that, you know, it's always, in a way... She's going to him for advice and vice versa, which is what I really like. And especially with the fact is that we are almost done with this. It's really good to like have a friend like him. Considerably, we can call him a friend in a way. Um, which is sweet. <laughs> but I love the fact that she still stands up for him, even though she does not know who he truly is. And been like, oh my god, let's interact with him, even though he's the bad guy. <laughs> But I think when you compare any of the Mashiro, um, any of the Mashiro's, any of the bad guys to other pretty cures in previous seasons trying to have or want a friendship with the bad guy, I mean, yeah, it still sometimes ends up working out. Not all the time. Um, Hagato. Okay, so let's also talk about that real quick because um, Homegirl is coming back in this next episode. Now, uh, Naive, I'm guessing that's the name, how you say it. If it's her, and I've been right this whole entire time because I said something months ago about her being the bad guy. Because I was like, it's a little, if, if they do it like they did, well, because see, like, to, to me, Delicious Party really... It wasn't obvious because the fact is we didn't see Homeboy like in every single episode. That's the same thing with, you know, um, what's her face? We have not seen her in every single episode. So, excuse me. When you're looking at who could possibly be the main bad guy for this and such, normally we do see the main villain by like, mm, wait. And it's a little surprising that we are on the final few weeks of the show and we're finally, you know, possibly getting our main villain next week besides the side villains and such. And I wonder if it is her, how Sora is going to handle this. So not only is it going to be a Sora fo base focus episode, it's also going to be a Subasa, And that's an interesting, you know, combination and such. So honestly, I cannot wait to see how that goes because also in that way, it gives me feels to um, Owie and um he i think it was himari hold on i, I gotta remember because the you know the girl the girl leaves from my kitty kitty pretty girl mode so hold on give me a second yeah aoi and himari because of course sora is blue like aoi and you know subasa is orange like himari so yeah, it just all oh, like anytime when you get the orange and the blues cares having relationships and friendships and everything together and it's just like oh it's so freaking cute i cannot but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 41 of hirogato sky pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every time when i join the matchless squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 42 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye